Hi, and welcome back to Purple Collar Life. I'm Chad, and in today's video, we're talking about gravel in a driveway. As you can see, we made a change right here. For about 22 years, I've been using number two and number three river gravel, rounded stone in the driveway. We built the house about 22 years ago. There are 53 triaxle loads of shale as the base to this driveway. But even with all that shale base, for the last 20 some years, we're still going through stone. It just kind of disappears, it settles in, it breaks down over time. Now finally, things are starting to get pretty solid after 22 years of using mainly this number three river stone or gravel, number three river gravel or round gravel. So I made a change because I've been looking for years online for a good comparison for a long driveway like ours of gravel versus limestone. So you can see right here, we've got a number two limestone spread. If you watched the previous video, this was about 20 some tons of gravel to this point that was a little bit less than halfway down the driveway. Now we've added 22 tons of limestone, number two, the rest of the driveway. Now I'll be right up front with you. Jennifer was not thrilled with this decision. She loves the look of the river gravel. She said it looks rustic. We live way back in the woods. She likes that rustic look to the driveway. But what I was thinking when I made the decision, and I should have consulted with her, but what I was thinking is, we've got a solid base now, let's try the limestone. It should pack in a little bit more tight, be a little bit smoother ride. But my main thing I was thinking about is, in just a couple months, Mackenzie will be having a graduation party here. There'll be a lot of people walking from our house to the big building, the 40 by 60 pole building is where we'll have the majority of the party. So this limestone packed in, I was thinking, will be a lot easier to walk on for all our guests than the number three gravel. Now my feet and ankles are used to walking on this because I've walked in and out the driveway many times, either for projects or to get the mail, but not everybody's used to walking on this big gravel. So I think the limestone will be a good choice next to the house, and we started it right here in the middle of the driveway. The other thing is, now I can be a resource for other people trying to decide between number three gravel and limestone or river rock and limestone. Let's talk a little bit more about what we've got here and the decision we made and what we think so far. Let's talk about this river stone first. First of all, we do like the number three. It's a mix of some bigger chunks, you know, three inches, or in this case, even bigger sometimes. But what we've found over the last 20 years is this keeps packing in. It kind of disappears over time with a one ton truck. You know, we've had a one ton diesel truck for about 17 years. We've had a camper, we've got a boat. We make a lot of trips in and out this long driveway. I did not want to have to buy multiple sets of stone every year. As it was, it was about two to three triaxles of this number three gravel every single summer. Now that's been the last couple years, we've been getting away with only one or two triaxles. And sometimes we've even skipped a year. Like last year, I skipped a year. I was able to pull the gravel from the outside edges back in to let this go another year. So that tells me it's getting a little bit more solid. 
The nice thing about this river gravel is it's much less expensive in our area, Northwest Pennsylvania. So around here, 20 to 22 tons of this, you know, depending on how much fits in the truck at the time, right now costs about $450, okay? So remember that number, 450, when I talk to you about the limestone. Now, when I first started putting in this in the driveway, I think it was like 175 a load. At the time, that felt like a lot of money for two or three triaxles each summer into the driveway. But now, I wish it was 175 or 200 dollars a load. It's gone up just like everything else. So, 450 dollars for about 20 to 22 tons of this number three river rock rounded gravel. Now looking this way in the driveway, you can see our new limestone. Like I said, this is a number two. This is not like a crusher run or anything like that. This is clean limestone. No uh, grit and debris in it, it's just the stone. And number two means it's about two inches and smaller size, but it is good clean stone. So let's talk about the, uh, the main point here. Why wasn't I doing this for the last 22 years of doing just limestone because it packs in so nicely? Because of cost. So, this 20 to 22 tons, depending on what fits in the uh, triaxle load, this costs about $750 for a load. Like I said, the, the river rock is about $450. So you're not quite double, but you're considerably more money for the limestone than you are for the river rock. So think back 20, 22 years of two to three triaxle loads a year. If we had been paying the difference between limestone and river rock, it would have been much more expensive to get the solid base of this driveway built up with limestone than it was with the river rock. So that's why we just now started this year giving the limestone a try. And I will say, like Jennifer says, it doesn't have quite the rustic look we're used to after 22 years of driving on river rock. It's a brownish color. It kind of matches the theme of our house. Our house is brown and tan. Our big building is brown and tan. So the brown kind of fits in with our woodsy area. The limestone looks a little bit more refined, a little bit uh, less rural, but I think as you know, it packs in over time, it's just going to look like a normal rural driveway, especially when our driveway is about a quarter mile long. So no matter what we put on top of this, even if it was blacktop, I think it would still look pretty rural just because of our location. So here's a little strip in between two paths of the new limestone. You can see there is a color difference and a texture difference and a difference in look. So I'm gonna fill that strip in. So if you've been wondering, like I have for a long time, when is the time to switch? Or should you be using gravel or limestone in your driveway? A couple things to consider. I think we did it pretty much the right way here at Purple Collar Life. Until the gravel stopped disappearing, sinking down into the ground, packing in, compacting, until that point, we use the cheaper for us river gravel. So like I said, this is a number three or a number two gravel. It made more sense to me to pay a little bit less to keep packing that on for a better base. Now, once we got a solid base, I think that's the right time to make your switch to limestone. This number two is actually a 2B limestone is what it's called. It means it's cleaned, it doesn't have the debris. A 2A is gonna have some of that kind of crusher run mixed to it. The 2B is clean limestone about an inch or so and smaller. Uh, so that's what we've done here and that's now on top of all of those decades, two decades of packed down shale and then number three and number two river gravel. So that'd be my advice for you. If you're establishing a new driveway, have a new property and it's still disappearing when you put gravel down throughout the year, I'd stick with gravel. In our case, like I said, that's about $450 for somewhere between 20 and a half and 22 tons. And then once it's a solid amount and you're not seeing it disappear so quickly every single year, then make your switch to limestone if you're interested in something that packs in a little bit tighter, uh, pushes together, and gives you a smoother walking and driving surface. Hopefully you found this video informative and entertaining. If so, we'd appreciate if you give us that thumbs up down below. Leave those comments down below on what you use for your driveway if you've got a long rural driveway like ours. I know in some parts of the country they use things that aren't even gravel, like I've seen people use seashells as driveway material along the oceans. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again the next time.